climate change is one of the key issues among voters at the general election. The latest data perhaps shows why. Last month was the hottest May ever recorded right across the world. It's also the 12th month in a row that broken such heat records. Well, experts from Europe's Copern Copernicus Climate Change Service, who did the research, say the results are alarming. So what are the main parties' pledges on the environment? Well, our science correspondent Martin Stew has joined us um, to talk through the details. Martin. Well, Charlene, I'm actually going to start with a, a slightly bit of good news. The UK has actually dramatically cut emissions. They're down 50% from 1990. But to keep warming capped to 1.5 degrees, climate action trackers say we need to go even faster. That's the green line you can see here. Modelling shows current policies in blue are insufficient. In fact, the High Court ruled government plans are currently unlawful. So what are the parties planning to do? What are they promising? Well, the Conservatives and Labour are committed to reach net zero. That's where we don't emit any more carbon than the planet naturally absorbs by 2050. The Lib Dems and SNP by 2045, the Greens by 2034. At the other end of the spectrum, Reform UK, who want to scrap net zero targets altogether to save money, instead focusing on adapting. Next, Let's look at energy sources, starting with fossil fuels. The Conservatives say granting new licences for oil and gas extraction from the North Sea is essential for energy security whilst we transition towards net zero. Labour won't revoke any approved licences but won't grant new ones. The SNP and Lib Dems will assess on a case-by-case -case basis. The Greens would cancel some whilst Reform UK would fast-track new licences. On to nuclear energy. Well, the Conservatives, uh, Labour and Reform are in favour. The Greens and SNP aren't. The Lib Dems uh, aren't politically opposed, but they say it's too expensive to build new ones. And what about onshore wind? That is one of the cheapest forms of renewables, but it's often blocked by planning. Labour, the Lib Dems, Greens and SNP want to build more. The Conservatives would leave it up to local councils. Reform UK, though, are opposed. In fact, they would cut £10 billion of subsidies from renewables. Next, your car. A ban on the sale of new combustion engines was scheduled for 2030. The Conservatives pushed that back to 2035 for economic reasons. Now, Reform would ditch the ban altogether. Labour, Lib Dems and SNP are committed to 2030. The Greens uh, say no new sales after 2027. And there are a myriad of other policies, from the Greens' pledge to rewild, the Lib Dems' mass tree planting, the SNP's bid to cut single-use plastic, and Reform UK's support for lithium mining. But what about the key difference between the two biggest parties? Well, the Conservatives would say they have a pragmatic and proportionate approach, which would see largely the same, verse, uh, the same values. Versus Labour's offering, which is GB Energy, a nationalised energy company designed to stimulate the green economy. Now, they have been criticised for dropping promises to invest £28 billion. But, Charlene, they do say even though they have limited the money, they are still more ambitious than the Conservative Party.